Oh hi, it's the Silly Moustache here with a cup of tea. A little while ago I made a video about um, posture and this is kind of a follow-on from that but did you know I do um, uh, lessons, one-to-one -one lessons via Zoom and that's enabled me over the past couple of years to meet lots and lots of lovely people and help them on their guitar journey as it were <laughs> and I've discovered that a lot of people have problems holding their guitars while they're seated and um, and and using picks so that's what I'm going to talk about first of all <laughs> just to repeat what I said about that posture thing find a seat that is comfortable straight back but relaxed back with your thigh horizontal horizontal to the floor that's very important not pedals or or anything like that um, and of course the most obvious guitar to learn on and practice on and play at home when you're seated is a small guitar like this this is a size O yes maybe it's a parlor I don't like that expression now then you hold a guitar not with that not with that, not with your feet, with your cubital fossa. What? That's your cubital fossa. It rests there on that edge. And that's all you need. Ideally, the neck should be horizontal to the ground or slightly up. Uh, the body is not touching your trim, a toned up tummy. And that just means you're, that your you're fretting hand, your elbow into the body, not clenched but just relaxed hanging from your shoulder as it should be if not you've got a problem um, and so there's no pressure on your wrist or your fingers or your elbow or anything like that to get into the different chord shapes but we don't use these do we no we've got these things great big things like this look at my shoulder hunched up back I'm bending away like that to compensate and I'll either do that or I'll do that but the same applies cubital fossa da 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 right uh, neck horizontal or just a little bit up to bring that shoulder down perhaps but find somewhere comfortable okay now we're going to talk about picks to do this um, when I was um, doing these lessons I found quite a number of people having problems with using a pick holding a pick and I looked on YouTube and I looked at some answers to how to hold a pick and some of them were just terrible I found that someone was saying that you should hold it with two fingers like that and a thumb with your wrist bent like no 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 so let's just go over that now first of all picks when we first buy a pick we tend to buy the thinnest, flappiest one we can because with a thick one, um, strumming is, is a little bit more difficult. So we buy one that's soft and gives to the string and we make noises like this. But slowly, slowly we get those thin ones are easy to use like that but they're not so accurate when you're playing a single note and things like that. And this is the pick that I use, same make as that, it was a Martin, Martin brand, 1.2 nylon, and I think I use these probably for 20 years. So if I'm doing that strum, it's less tinny there. In fact, we've got nice trebles and we've got good round bass. And I played with these for ages and thought that was that was all it was. Somebody sent me a blue chip pick, which is the best chip in the world, probably made of unobtainium. They cost $35 plus postage to start with. The thicker they get, the more expensive they get. They are wonderfully made and they have something called a speed bevel on them, right? And I thought, $35? with one for every guitar I've got that's going to cost more than I can afford so I bought every triangle pick and that was the thing they're triangles I'm going to show you something this is 
a large triangle pick called a 346 and that is my black um, Martin pick and there's more meat on that and a funny thing about triangles they got three points who would have thought that so when that point gets worn the pick's gone this one is going to last literally three times as long yeah more than that equilateral triangle remember that from your geometry days 60 degrees 60 degrees 60 degrees about 40 degrees 45 degrees uh, more pointed uh, but <laughs> it easier to run off it's not such a, an aggressive attack so I suggest that beginners folks and um, people still trying to grasp the pick oh have I told you how to grasp the pick closed fist relax look down at your hand thumb straight look where it meets your index finger between the knuckle and the fingertip place your pick of choice on that between knuckle and fingertip that should be at 90 degrees to the thumb right right angles don't grip it hold it same with a large triangle grip relax place on top between knuckle and fingertip just hold it 90 degrees to the where's all the work coming from it's coming from the elbow and the wrist is doing just a little bit of fine tuning that thumb by the way should be almost but not quite parallel with the strings it's about 10 15 degrees something like that um, that way so that's the string and that's that's your thumb right so I tried to find alternatives and I thought that the Dunlop Tortex was the best and these are what I recommend no I'm not being sponsored or paid or anything um, you can buy variety packs of different colors which mean different thicknesses buy a pack of those for just a few dollars and, and experiment and find the ones that suit you now you might not like large triangles um, but everybody that I've suggested they try have found that they they like them and they're not any more expensive than the uh, the teardrops but they give you more control and you straining those muscles and things less with a larger uh, larger pick with an equilateral triangle so there we are that's all I wanted to say really oh yes when blue chips came out there was quite a lot of talk in the guitar world about them everybody enthused about them for good reason and so Dunlop being a large um, pick maker brought out these these are what is it called sculpted plectra <laughs> made the same stuff as everything else but they are polished and um, beveled properly which is a good thing um, and they are strangely enough made to look in the same muddy brown colors as blue chip which must be a coincidence surely anyway there you are that's all I wanted to tell you so relaxed straight back cubital fossa hand resting comfortably about 15 degrees thumb about 15 degrees away from the strings you don't pluck the strings you draw the pick across